We've got a great show coming up. It's called Princess and the Pie War, and it's a prequel to King George and the Ducky. Princess and the Pie War started off as us wanting to retell the story of Ruth. It's a funny, funny show, and we've got a new character. She's a princess, and her name's Petunia. She's a rhubarb. I think you'll love her. Bob and Larry, of course, introduced the show on the countertop and had gotten a letter from a little girl who has a new baby brother. And that starts the whole thing rolling. The message is all about loving your family and putting other people first. What we wanted to do a story that, that has a lot of adventure, but yet has a lot of some princess stuff in it, too. It's a fairy tale setting. We've got castles, we've got knights, we've got a big jousting tournament at the end. We've got princess, we've got pie war. We've got beauty and jousting. What more could you want? Tim Hodge came up with this concept of Larry singing the blues, and he actually wrote a song about it. And Larry's just too happy. He's too happy to sing the blues, but he's got to help her. This guy's playing guitar, playing backup for him, named Blind Lemon. And, you know, Blind Lemon's an old blues guy, and he tries to coach Larry, trying to make him feel real sad to, to bring out that, that inner turmoil of blues. He likes the idea that he's, you know, singing this musical style, but he really doesn't have the life to back it up. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm going to lay down some blues. All sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. I said, all sunshine and roses. No rain came my way. Happy, 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 happy day. Hey, man, what you doing? I'm singing the blues. Oh, man, the blues is for singing when you feel sad. But I don't feel sad. Then you got no business singing the blues, man. Here, let me help you out. Coupled with this, we are retelling the story of Miriam and Moses when Moses was born and Miriam was assigned to taking care of him. And so this story is really a charming story about, about how a sister, Miriam, handles the new addition to the house. As with any family, there's always a lot of uh, sibling rivalry, some tension between the new baby and the older kids. Putting the people you love in front of yourself is such an important message, and uh, it's going to be a real funny one, too. Hi, kids. I'm Lily. If you're like me, then you love to draw. And chances are, even if you're not like me, you'll love to draw. But one thing's for sure, if you love to draw, you love to draw me. Join Larry and the artists from Big Idea to learn how to draw your favorite VeggieTales characters during this fun-filled 90-minute show. So, is everybody having a good time so far? Yeah! Yeah, really? You're learning a lot? You'll also discover fun drawing tips and tricks that will make whatever you draw better than ever. Now you see how the end that's closer to you looks a lot bigger? And the end that's farther away looks smaller? That's all part of perspective. You'll see how to turn a pencil and a plain piece of paper into a party. How to draw me, how to draw me, hey, how to draw me. There's fun and lots of surprises with all new animation and music. Grab a pencil and piece of paper. Draw something square for the refrigerator. Pick up Bob and Larry's How to Draw DVD and discover your inner artist. Sunday Morning Values, Saturday Morning Fun. Stay tuned after the toy that saved Christmas for the second half of our holiday double feature, The Star of Christmas, plus more fun previews.